Well, hi, everybody. I'm John Walls here, and welcome back to theCUBE's continuing coverage of Splunk.conf 21. And uh, we've talked a lot about data, obviously, um, and a number of partnerships and the pooling of resources that it's going on in this space. And certainly a very valuable partnership that Splunk has right now is one with Intel. And with me to talk a little bit more about that is Rick Echevarria, who is the Vice President of Sales and the Marketing Group at Intel. Rick, good to see you today. Thanks for joining us on theCUBE. It's good to see you, John, and thanks for having us. You bet, no, glad to have you as part of the dot-com coverage as well. Um, well, first off, let's just for uh, folks at home uh, who would like to learn more about this relationship, the Splunk Intel partnership, if you would give us that the, the 30,000 foot picture of it right now in terms of, of how it began and how it's evolved to the point where it resides today. Yeah, uh, sure, glad to do that. You know, Splunk has had for, for many years a uh, position as, as one of the world's best uh, security information and event management platforms. So just like many customers in the cybersecurity space, they're probably trying to retire their technical debt. And, and one of the areas of, of important focus is the SIM space, right? The SIM segment within cybersecurity. And so the initial engagement between Intel and Splunk started with the information security group at Intel looking to, again, retire the technical debt, bring next generation SIM technology. And that started uh, the engagement with Splunk, again, to go solve the cybersecurity challenges. One of the things that we quickly learned is that um, though Splunk offers a great platform, you know, from a SIM point of view, as you know, the cybersecurity segment, the surface area of attack, the number of attacks, they continue to increase. And we quickly realized that this needed to be a collaboration uh, in order for us to be able to work together to optimize our infrastructure so it could scale, it could be performant, it could be reliable uh, to protect Intel's business. And as we started to work with Splunk, we realized, hey, this is a, a great opportunity. Intel's benefiting from it. Why don't we start working together and create a reference architecture so that our joint customers also benefit from the collaboration that we have in the cybersecurity space as we were building the you know, Intel cybersecurity infrastructure platform. So that, re that was really the beginning of, uh, of the collaboration that we're going to describe here in a little bit more detail. Right, so, so you had this, this good working relationship and said, hey, why don't we get together, let's get the band together and see what we can do for our, our joint clients down the road, yes. right? So, yes. so what about those benefits then? Because you, yeah, you got this almost this force multiplier, right? Of, of Intel's experience and then what Splunk has been able to do in the data analytics world. Um, what kind of values are being derived, do you think, with that partnership? Well, obviously we feel uh, much better about our cybersecurity posture. Um, and, uh, and what's sort of interesting, John, is that we realized that what we were, what started out as a conversation on SIM uh, it really turned out to be an opportunity for us to look at Splunk as a data platform. And, you know, in the technology world, you sometimes hear people talk about the horizontal capabilities and the vertical yeah. usages and really the security, uh, the SIM technology really became one of several, sorry about the noise in the background, one uh, became a vertical application. And then we realized, hey, we can apply this platform to some other usages. And in addition to that, you know, when you think about cybersecurity and, and what we use for SIM, that tends to be part of your core systems in IT. We started to explore what can we do with, what could we do with other data types for other different types of applications. And so what we, certain, what we decided to do is we would go explore usages of this data at the edge uh, of, of, of the network and really started to move into much more of that operational technology space when we realized that Splunk could really, um, that we could integrate, that we can ingest other types of data. And that started a second collaboration around our open Vino technology and our AI capabilities at the edge with the ingestion and the machine learning capabilities of Splunk so that we can take things like visual data and start creating dashboards for, for example, uh, managing the flow of people you know, especially in you know COVID environment. So, uh, an understanding utilization of spaces. So it really started with SIM, it's moved to the edge and now we realize that there's a continuum in this data platform that we can build other usages around. 
You know, what was that learning curve like when you went out to the edge? Because a lot of people were talking about it, right? And there was a lot of banter about this is where we have to be. So, but you guys put your money where your mouth was, right? Yeah. Like you went out, you, you explored that frontier, and yes. uh, and so what was that like? And 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 what? And I guess maybe kind of being early in, uh, what advantage do you think that has given you as that process has matured a little bit? Well, it's it's really interesting, John, because what really accelerated our engagement with Splunk in that space was the pandemic. And we had uh, in 2020, Intel announced the its pandemic response technology initiative, where we decided we were going to invest uh, $50 million in accelerating technologies and solutions and partnerships to go solve some of the biggest challenges that the pandemic was presenting to the world at large. And one of those areas was around companies trying to figure out how to how to manage spaces, how to manage, you know, the number of people that are in a particular space and social distancing and things of that nature. And, you know, we ended up engaging with Splunk in this collaboration again to start looking at visual data, right? Integrating that with our open Vino platform. And again, their machine learning and algorithms and start then creating what you would call more operational technology types of application based on visual data. Now this will have other applications that could be used for security usages, it could be used for, again, social distancing, uh, the utilization of assets. But the pandemic and that program that Intel launched is really what became the catalyst for our collaboration with Splunk that allowed us to expand in this space. Right, and you've done a tremendous amount of work in the healthcare space. I mean, especially yes. the last year and a half with pan the pandemic. Um, can you give just a couple of examples of that? Maybe the variety of, of uses or the variety of, of processes that you've had an influence in, because I think it's pretty impressive. Yeah, we um, there's quite a bit of breadth in the types of solutions we've deployed as part of the pandemic response. John, you can think of some of the, I wouldn't call these things basic things, but you think about telehealth and improving the telehealth experience, all the way to creating privacy aware, uh, or sorry, solutions for privacy sensitive usages where you're doing things like getting multiple institutions to share their data with the right privacy, uh, which, you know, going back to secure, but in privacy with the right uh, protections for that data, but being allowed, allowing organization A and organization B partner together, use data, create algorithms that both organizations benefit from. And an example of that is, is work we've done around X-ray uh, and using X-rays to detect COVID on certain populations. So we've gone from those you know, data protection, algorithm developing, development type of solutions to, to work that we've done in telehealth. So, uh, and, and a lot of other solutions in between. Obviously in the high performance uh, space, we've invested in high performance computing for, to help the researchers uh, find cures uh, for the, the, you know, current pandemic and then looking at future pandemics. So it's been quite a breadth of, uh, of solutions and it's really a testament also to the breadth of Intel's portfolio and partnerships to be able to uh, enable so much in such a short amount of time. Oh, I totally agree. I mean, I just reading a little bit about it, about that work and, and I, you talk about the, the breadth of that, the breadth and the depth of that is it, it, certainly impressive. So just in general, we'll just put healthcare in this big lump of customers. So what, what do you think the value proposition of your partnership with Splunk is in terms of providing you know, ultimate value to your customers because you deal with so many different sectors. Um, mm -hmm. But if you could, you know, just give me a summary from your perspective, this is what we do. This is why this power works. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> customers uh, talk about transformate, you know, there's a lot of conversation around transformation, right? Before the pandemic and through the pandemic, but there's a lot of talk about companies wanting to transform and, you know, in order to be able to transform, one of the key elements of that is uh, to be able to capture the right data and then take, turn that data into the right outcomes. And that is something that requires obviously the capabilities and the ability to capture, to ingest, to analyze the data, and to do that on an infrastructure that is going to scale with your business, that is going to be reliable, and that is going to be, to give you the flexibility for the types of solutions that you're wanting to deploy. And that's really what the Splunk uh, collaboration with Intel is going to do. It's, it's just a great example, John, uh, of the strategy that our CEO, Pat Gelsinger, recently talked about the importance of software 
to our business, this Plunk collaboration is right in the center of that. They have capabilities in SIM, in IT observability, uh, in many other areas, and this whole world is turning data into, you know, into outcomes, into results. But that has to be done on an infrastructure that, again, will scale with your business, just like what's the case with Intel and our cybersecurity platform, right? We needed to collaborate to make sure that this was going to scale with the dem demands of our business. And that requires close integration of, of hardware and software. The other point that I will make is that the, what started out as a collaboration with, between Intel and Splunk, it's also expanding to other partners in the ecosystem. So I like to touch a little bit on uh, a, a work stream that we have go ongoing between Intel Splunk, HPE and Deloitte. And why is that important is because uh, as customers are deploying solutions, they're going to be deploying applications and they're going to have data in multiple environments on premise across multiple clouds. And we have to give uh, these customers the ability to go gather the data from multiple sources. And that's part of the effort that we're developing with HPE and Deloitte to allow people to gather data, perform their analytics, regardless, regardless of their where their data is, and be able to deploy the Splunk platform across these multiple environments, whether it's going to be on-prem or it's going to be in a pure cloud environment or it's going to be in a hybrid with multiple clouds. I mean, we want to give our customers the most flexibility that we can. And that's where that collaboration with Deloitte and HP is going to come into play. All right, and you understand Splunk, right? You, you get the workload. You, I mean, that, it's, you know, it's totally, there's great familiarity there, which is of great value yes. to that customer base because you yes. can apply that. So, so um, obviously you're giving this like multiple thumbs up about the partnership. What excites you the most about going forward? Uh, because as you know, it's all about, you know, where are we going from here? Yes. It's not where we've been. So in terms of where you're going together uh, in yeah. that partnership, well, what excites you about that? Well, first of all, we're excited because it's just a great example of the value that we can deliver to customers when you really understand their pain points and then have the capability to integrate solutions that encompass software and hardware together. So I think that the fact that we've been able to do the work on, on that core SIM space, where we now have um, a reference architecture that shows how you could really scale and deliver that uh, Splunk solution for your cybersecurity needs in a, in a scalable and reliable and with high levels of security, of course. And the fact that we then also been able to co-develop fairly quickly solutions for the edge allows customers now to have that data platform that can scale and can access a lot of different data types from the edge to the cloud. That is really unique. I think it provides a lot of flexibility and it, it's applicable to a lot of vertical industry segments and a lot of customers. Right, and be attractive to a lot of customers. That's for yep. sure. Uh, Rick Echevarria, we appreciate the time. Always uh, good to see you. And we uh, certainly appreciate your joining us here on theCUBE to talk about uh, .conf21 and your relationship with the folks at Splunk. Yeah, thank you, John. You bet. Uh, talking about Intel, Splunk, good partnership, long time a uh, partnership that has great plans going forward. We continue our coverage here of .com21. You're watching theCUBE.